Sampling from a conveyor belt may be performed either while the conveyor belt is running by using a sampling device which diverts or intercepts the flow of material, or by taking a sample while the conveyor belt is stopped. The stopped belt method is also used when approving a sampling device used for sampling while the belt is running. If the sample is obtained while the conveyor belt is running, samples of the aggregate shall be taken utilizing a sampling device to divert or intercept the entire flow of material in such a manner that all portions of the flow are diverted or intercepted for an equal amount of time. Be sure to remove all the material within your sampling template. Use a brush to collect all of the fine material. In sampling materials from stockpiles, it is difficult to ensure unbiased samples due to the segregation which often occurs when the material is stockpiled with coarser particles rolling to the outside base of the pile. If power equipment is available, then it would be advantageous to enlist the use of that equipment to develop a separate and small sampling pile composed of materials drawn from various levels and locations in the main stockpile. Once a small sampling pile has been established, then a sample shall be taken from that pile by taking several increments and combining. The stockpile may also be sampled by placing a wood or metal shield upslope from the point of sampling to prevent loose aggregate from sliding down into the sampling area. Remove approximately 3-6 to six inches of material from the sampling area. Utilizing a square point shovel, take the sample near the top, then take one at the middle and finally near the bottom of the stockpile. The sample taken at each location shall be one shovel full of material. Repeat this operation at the sampling locations as shown and combine all samples taken from the stockpile. Sampling from a windrow. The following slides illustrate the method used to sample a windrow. At each point in the windrow where a sample is to be taken, remove sufficient material from the top of the windrow so that a representative sample can be obtained from the center of the freshly exposed top of the windrow using a square point shovel. The sample taken at each sampling location shall be one shovel full of material. Repeat the sampling as necessary at the required number of locations in the windrow to obtain the desired amount of material. The samples taken shall be combined. Sampling from the roadway. In the case of sampling material in place from the roadway, at least three samples shall be taken with a shovel at equally distributed locations across the width of the roadway. It may be necessary to use a hammer and chisel or similar tools to cut a hole in a compacted roadway. Care shall be taken to obtain all material from the hole which is dug. The samples shall be combined. Please be sure to review all of the materials from your testing manual.